on the face of it and on camera, this was a wonderful day. But at the end of the day, we'll tell you what went wrong. About three years ago, we came to the Maldives and um, we stayed at a luxury resort and it was bang and flipping fantastic. We loved it. But what we really fell in love with was the sea. We loved the snorkeling, we loved the fish, we loved the warm, clear water. And unfortunately, Hulamali doesn't really have that. Um, there's so much sea traffic and jet skis and water sports here that the, the sea is really cloudy and often you're swimming through lumps of sand so you can't snorkel and the fish are frightened off. So we're having a splurge today and yeah, we're gonna go off snorkeling on an adventure day we're going dolphin watching and we're going to a sand bank hopefully so um yeah let's see what today brings how's your rocking chair very nice <laughs> i feel like they'll do it again Thank you for your support and for allowing us to brighten your screen. Don't forget to click subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss out on our videos. And this is what we've come from Maldives for. Beaches like this and sea like this. This is our boat in the distance. We've had to walk here from the boat because it's shallow and
snorkeling, was it more snorkeling, boat ride, dolphin spotting, sand bank. Yeah. Uh, and lunch, yes. Yeah. Yes, and how was it? I think I need to explain something. What? Um, I get seasick and I'm terrified of being out of my depth. So the boat ride and the snorkeling in, in, in open water was always going to be a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? Yes, it was always going to be a bit of a challenge, but I like to confront my fears and have done very many times in the past. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like boats. Yeah. And you don't like boats. No, I don't. I like boats. I get seasick. Yes. Okay, went to the sandbank first. The sandbank so that was good. really good um, place to take some photos. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> loads of people were taking photos. Loads of people were taking. Instagram will be full of girls. Yeah, probably. these sort of yeah model type people. Uh, yeah. So really nice place just to show. Very very small sandbank. Um, and, yet, and, they, and the boat stopped about 50 metres away. You yeah. had to wade through you know, the sea. And if you, well, you know, he said you could wade through, but because it's so um, choppy today, you had to probably swim a little bit as well to get from the boat. So if you're not a strong swimmer, then you, or even a well confident swimmer, then you could have struggled a little bit. To be you fair, struggled a little bit. I struggled a little bit because he said that, oh yeah, the water's chest height. And I jumped off the boat and of course his chest height wasn't my chest height. His chest height was my high height. Yeah, so, so immediately I was under the water. It was a bit wavy and the current was quite strong and yeah, it was alright. Yeah, and then we went snorkeling for the first time. Went snorkeling. So, what needs to be said? Plane. What needs to be said, this is open water snorkeling, so this is not off the beach or off a somewhere you can cling on to, this is open water, jump off the boat. You're in the ocean. You're in the ocean, no real plan about what's going to happen. Yeah. So, if you again, if you're a confident swimmer, fine. What I have found... Um, a bit strange was no sooner as you got in the water than the boat started to move away <laughs> so to, to leave everybody so I don't think that was very good did no, it? No and it caused me to panic because one I was fighting the current and I'm not a strong swimmer and two the boat was suddenly well a hundred meters away instead of 10, 15, 20 meters away and I panicked and yeah, I had a panic, full blown panic attack in the water and had to get out. So that wasn't ideal. Yeah, and I, and I followed you. So it's, you know, yeah. Um, and then even the, the um, guy, captain, yeah, guy. he said, oh yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit wavy here, it's a bit choppy, let's go somewhere else. So again, another, uh, another choppy, choppy time time. on the boat. By uh, which time I'd started throwing. Because I'm not good on boats. So, yeah, that was. And this was after lunch. And this is after lunch <laughs> on the boat. So, full stomach. Full stomach, yeah. Um, and having woken up at 3 o'clock in the morning, so being exhausted anyway. So, then we went off to another location, Shark Point. Um, I would also like to say, first of all, first lot of snorkeling, did see a turtle. Yeah, and a stingray. Uh, yeah. And loads of fish. So, so you know. good for fishing, you know, it's for the sea and fish, if you like fish. Yeah. So I wasn't upset, but I was thick. And 
then we went to a second place to do the snorkeling again. Okay, let, let's all jump in, jump in, jump in. Boat goes away. <laughs> he left your own devices. And yeah. the current was even stronger. Was it? I don't think it was. I thought the current was even stronger. Maybe I was just tired because I'd been sick. And then uh, we all got back in the boat and we went off on the dolphin bit. Oh, and we did. Water. So again, out in choppy water, back in choppy water, I didn't see a single dolphin. <laughs> they must have had a half day or something. <laughs> um, yeah. And back. that's why the footage ends abruptly. But yeah, so marks out of 10. Marks out of 10. Actually, the snorkeling was really good. I would give it 7 or 8 out of 10. The fact that I was ill, not their fault. The fact that I had panic attacks, not their fault. Really, really good snorkeling. Good locations. I'm yeah. just not sure. Just try not to go on a day that's windy like today. Yeah. Because windy. obviously it's going to get a bit choppy and even the best of us don't like to be thrown around on the back of a boat <laughs> for a few hours <laughs> with no hope of getting off it. <laughs> that was the worst bit. It is Friday night, which means it's the weekend here. Um, it's the equivalent of a Saturday night. So we're off to Central Park to see the light show. Yeah, tonight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see what they do on a Friday night. So, yeah, that's our day on the Maldives adventure. We had a taste of the Maldives that we fell in love with, and now I've fallen out of love with. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wrong day.